What's up peeps, today I'm gonna to be teaching you about something that I feel a lot of people don't talk about and that is the art of plating like a pro. Because if you believe that plating is just laying down on the floor or capping in a corner and hitting the play button, then this video is for you. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna be going is a very important setting you need to change. Go into the options, go into controller and go all the way to the bottom until you get to this one, armor plate behavior and just make sure you have an apply on. I know a lot of people already have it on, but just if you guys don't know, if you have apply on, that means that you have to keep holding your triangle to apply each plate. But when you have apply on, when you hit your triangle button or whatever it is to want to play, you only need to hit it once and then it'll start applying all of the plates until you're fully plated up. Now, before we jump into the actual tips and tricks, I want to talk to you guys about the need of not having three plates immediately i find that way too many people want to have three plates on their system like let's say an enemy shoots at them it takes out all their plates and they're rushing them i feel everybody has their urge to put three plates on them even though the enemy is right above them and let me tell you a little secret i believe it's better to have two plates or one plate on your system or on your body and have that weapon pre-aiming at the door where that guy's coming or just you being ready to roll or get that jump the jump shot on him that is always way better than putting on three plates and because of that extra plate the guy pushed you first you weren't ready to shoot how many times does that happen to you were they pushing you're still plating up switching weapons so very very important Put one plate, two plates, but if the guy is already there, remember, if you get that jump shot on him or you break his camera by doing it a little slide cancel or again, jumping outside of the room and you can get those couple shots first, that will be more important. All right, so let's jump into the actual first tip. I see so many people, especially in houses, when they're trying to run away from people that are already pushing their houses, and they start plating up, and they go ahead, and they vault. And as you guys can see, the vaulting ca cancels the plate. If we do this again, as you guys can see, and I just see so many people doing this, just vaulting over. One of the greatest things, and you'll see me do it a lot when I'm playing, is I jump sideways, and that actually prevents you from canceling. So we're going to go ahead, we jump sideways out through the window, and as you guys can see, we continued that plating up same thing here instead of jumping like this we're gonna go ahead and start plating up and jump sideways and continue that plate up and you can actually jump a lot of higher things that you guys actually realize obviously you can't jump this one right here like if you like this one you just can't jump sideways but things like this you could even jump uh jump sideways so we start plating up right here we go like this and as you guys can see we continued plating up so that's just something very important when you're always gonna jump side jump sideways do a little thing like that and easy peasy lemon squeezy now something very important when it comes to escaping in a house are windows uh if you're getting shot and obviously you try to do that plating and jump sideways as you guys can see the glass won't break all right um so what you can do is as you guys saw there once you start running and it activates your tactical sprint it actually breaks but just something that you need to be aware of like if you jump like this the the glass won't break so very very important is you always want to have momentum when you're jumping through a window as you guys can see, I'm going to start plating up, jump sideways, and as you guys can see right there, the window broke. So just to remember, I, I have gotten caught a couple times in the windows. Uh, so just remember not to jump like this backwards. Always have just a little bit of momentum, and you'll go right through. Also, another quick tip that I wanted to let you guys know is a lot of people didn't know this, but Amped actually helps you plate up faster, quote unquote. And the reason is because Amped, what it does is it does fa faster weapon swap, right? Whether you hit triangle, triangle, whether you throw a tactical, a lethal, or even if you plate so if you actually played up your weapon will be ready faster if you have amp because plating up and once you pull your weapon out it also counts as swapping your weapon so again if you want to have your weapon ready faster or quote unquote play faster then go ahead and select amp now as you guys know one of the most important things we're plating up from danger is well running away from it and if you're plating up like this obviously it's not that fast that you can run right it's pretty slow so if you got the stim you can actually combine the stim with plating up so let's say i'm getting shot from here and i want to get right there what i would do is i would toss my stim get that little boost and go ahead and plate up and use the slide and as you guys can see you can combine the stim with the slide and as soon as you again as soon as you stim you go ahead and slide as you guys can see you get a little extra boost with the stim while plating up at the same time and as you guys saw in just a couple seconds i traveled 80 meters and i plated myself twice obviously i stopped it just to 
make just to show you guys but i could have traveled 80 meters with two stims and it fully played it up and that's how sometimes you can see the guys that are like oh my god how is that guy already played it up and he ran so far away so just remember if you combine the plating up with the stims it is going to make your life super easy and you are definitely going to surprise the enemy now the next thing that i want to talk to you guys about is usually when you get shot right and either the enemy breaks armor on you or completely takes all the armor off if he's a good player more than likely he is going to go ahead and push you so let's say the guy's right there and we're having a little gunfight right here and he takes all my armor off right more than likely like i said he's going to start pushing you so what a lot of the bots do is you know they just hang around here behind and they start plating up behind here again without doing anything while the guy is fully pushing at him this is what you do not want to do what you want to do is you want a quick peek so basically you're plate while you're plating up you're taking a look and you're watching to see if he's pushing you if he's staying back and again something that you also can do is you can actually jump so for example if you're jumping like this you can also just take a look and see because most of the time is he if he's doing a little sprint towards you he's not going to have enough time to shoot your head completely so what you want to do is again quick peek it don't stand like this because if he takes a couple shots of you remember you'll stop plating if you take shots so just remember to do a couple quick peeks like this left and right and just make sure that he's not pushing you and obviously again if he is pushing you and he's already very, fairly close remember what we do we go ahead use our two plates and go ahead and get the jump shot on him and again like i said if you get that early jump shot especially because he's sprinting he's running towards you most of the time he's not pre-aiming that if you get two plates up and you get that jump shot pre-aim and start shooting at him you you will get those extra couple shots first and just because of that you will win that gunfight that's why most of the time if there's a guy hiding behind even though if you have full place but if he starts shooting at you first he will win that gunfight so again remember always use a quick peeking like this and jump and to make sure that they're not pushing you and if they're pushing you remember plate one time two times but just make sure that you're ready to break the camera and pre-aim to the guy that's pushing you and that is how you'll win the fight ladies and gentlemen let me down below in the comment section any other tip that you guys would like to include peace out everybody and i'll see you all in the next one